Hi, I'm Jeff. Uh, I, I'm the artist, uh, and thank you for coming to my website. I wanted to show you uh, a little bit about Kinnick, uh, a painting I did uh, that I gave to Nate Kading in the golf tournament for auction that you'll see on my website. But I get a lot of questions about Kinnick, and so I kind of wanted to, rather than write a three-page three page treaty on it, I thought I'd describe it a little bit for you. Um, Kinnick is a piece on Nile Kinnick, and it's, uh, it's got a lot of different elements that really looks at the history of Nile Kinnick. Um, a lot of these different pieces, people ask me, what's this, what's this? When I first started the, the painting, um, this piece is like two doors big. It's like six feet by five feet. Um, and so you can imagine, I wanted to try and do something monumental of Niall Kinnick. And what I ended up doing was just painting the whole thing, like his whole head. Um, and that just didn't work. It was just too huge. And so I thought, well, I'll make, I'll make two Kinnick heads. And that just looked like two eggs, so I wasn't really sure what to do with it. But I, I started to kind of sketch around it, and I liked this one head that was in here. And that, I kept playing with this. Um, and there was a, uh, a piece where, you, when you look at his, his chin and over onto the side of his face and up and through his eye, you'll see like these, these curves and things that come around um, with the Nile Kinnick head. And I kept that in there, and I kept looking at it. Um, left it there, wasn't really sure what to do with it. And I put the Kinnick Stadium arches, and then I put the, uh, the stadium uh, over the top. It just wasn't working for me. And what I ended up doing was just getting really frustrated one day, and just kept painting. And what ended up coming was this shape throughout the whole piece. And this piece reminded me of Niall Kinnick, what I was trying to do with his head, and it reminded me of this shape. And so what I ended up doing was painting Niall in through here holding the football. And you can see on the, um, on a photograph of Niall, there's a 24 and I, uh, in, his, in his chest. I also really like this, uh, this curve that was going up through his face, like down here how there was a part of his chin, went up to his cheek, and went up to his eye. And I really liked this heavy uh, moment that was going on within the picture. And I kept looking for references, and one of them that I found that was kind of interesting was a Salvador Dali piece that looked at this monumental moment. And in through this, it's called the Hallucinogenic Torador <laughs> by Salvador Dali. And uh, what I saw was this really icy blue, this really kind of neon sort of blue. And I really like that, how that, how that works. So I kept this in here, and you can see where the head is. You can see Niall Kinnick's face kind of move along right here. So I kept that main head in there, and I kept painting Niall Kinnick. Um, it, it worked, um, but I get a lot of questions about right here. And if you look at the negative space, this dark black is really one head. Here's another Niall Kinnick. And Niall is known as a triple threat. So I put another Niall Kinnick in here for throwing, punting, and kicking. Um, other things that I put into the painting uh, was the Heisman Trophy. Um, he liked the old Capitol. See many photos of him with the old Capitol. I put that in there from a 1939 homecoming pin, um, as well as uh, in Kinnick Stadium. I tried to brought more of that history. There's uh, several horses that are in the lower left-hand corner back in 1929 when uh, they built the stadium. Uh, they, a lot of the horses were overworked. It was very hot and steamy, and they ended up dying, and they buried them in Kinnick Stadium. And that's true, not mythology. <laughs> um, another thing with Niall was he was a U.S. Navy uh, aviator, and these are the symbols from his Wildcat uh, airplane. Um, just a lot of different things in this painting. The end, I get a lot of questions. Why, what's with the blue? And for me, that was the, the finishing piece of all this, was the blue part um, of this painting. When Niall uh, was in the US Navy and, and training to be an aviator, he said in, in the diary, uh, in his diaries, and also in A, a Hero Perished by Paul Bender, is a book that I referenced, it talks about how uh, Niall felt at most peace when he crested those clouds and went into the sky. And I was getting really frustrated with this piece. It felt bogged down by this, this stadium. 
and I just started moving paint around, and what happened was this blue sky. And so I left that in there, and that was the final piece that I did for Nile. Um, but that's really about it. Thanks again for coming to my website, and uh, look forward to seeing you out there. If you come to a convention, feel free to look me up. Thanks.